anyone could make me a better person. You could. Hey guys, thanks for joining us. This is Reliant K minus Matt Thiessen, who's doing a little bit of work right now. I'm doing the video for Must Have Done Something Right. So uh, join us on this amazing <laughs> journey. They've already joined us. <laughs> <laughs> What time is it? It's early. What are you doing here? What are you doing this time? Uh, obviously, I'm the most uh, good-looking guy in the band. They they want to put me on the television more. That's the truth. Yeah, let's move Mark over to like. I can just. I got it. There we go. The idea of the video is the soccer ball traveling through the city, and Matt's chasing it. But everybody, everybody's trying to keep it away. Integrating the two sports of bowling and soccer, which I think should have been done long ago. We should call it uh, Bocker. We're gonna call it Bocker. Yeah, that's great. You should run down and like slide. Get slapstick now. They want me to go. Whoop, 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 whoop. We just got here a couple minutes ago. It's like 9.30. Poor Slave has been here for hours and hours. And Some people uh, think it's because he's more important. You know, he's in the video more and stuff, but I think that we're more important. I actually brought two, two different straps. See this one? Just the classic, you know, normal. Or... Wait for it. Booyah! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm just lucky, cause it's hard to believe. It's so gross. We are here at our second location. We do a little rocking scene with the beautiful lake behind us. It's a good, great place to play. We often just, in our free time, set up some instruments and play in a park. I have four amplifiers. Hoops has four amplifiers. And John has this little itty bitty box. I've been debating for about 10 minutes whether I should move the drum kit back about three feet so that the little legs on the kick drum fit into this uh, crevice. So we're doing that like we normally do and then uh, this, uh, this girl is there with the soccer ball. Hey, we're rolling playback. All of a sudden, she displays that uh, she's out of my league. She's got these soccer skills. And she starts juggling a soccer ball. And so I want to get in on this, you know, like a good, good soccer juggling fest. And I'm not sure whether she's into him or if she's like egging him on, like she's a sweet soccer player, he's not. And she just punts this ball away and then she makes me go get it. She's way out of his league. He feels inadequate, maybe. It's like if he's in the minor league playing for like Birmingham Barons, and you know, <laughs> she's in the major leagues. The Barons? Or the yeah. Orlando Cubs. Oh, or the uh, Toledo Mud Hens. Or the St. Paul yeah. Saints. I feel like she's a vixen. A vixen? A little <laughs> bit. What does that even mean? Is that one of the reindeer? Yeah, it means she's a reindeer. Yeah. So I go to get this ball, and then all of a sudden it goes to this guy selling tamales, which I've never actually seen in real life, but I don't live in California. Maybe they have random tamale salesmen in parks all across LA, I don't know. Not only does he dribble the soccer ball around the tamale car, but he toys with my emotions. It makes me upset. I actually requested the tamale cart scene in the video because I'm so used to running around tamale carts in the park. And uh, normally I'm not chasing a soccer ball, normally it's a uh, tamale. The tamale salesman kicks it off and uh, it hits this scene of like these people eating. A policeman gets the ball and I'm like, uh oh, Popo's gonna, gonna stick it to me if we're playing games. And when you see the cops for the first time, you have to like slow down immediately. You're like, you know something's up. I normally carry a piece. So if someone were to steal my soccer ball, I would pop uh, a cap in there, um, wherever I choose to pop it. Here we go. Kneecaps, perhaps. The police 
police officer kicks the ball and it ends up going to a public library. Hello. Welcome to the Endale branch of the Los Angeles Public Library System. This is my favorite place to go and sit down with a good book. I got my own card. And I advise you to do the same thing because books are for people that like to read. And I have to uh, try and get the ball from some little kids and they, they don't want to play nice. One step forward and give them a little thing, okay? The librarian gets in on it, she does a bicycle kick. Paul gets kicked into the office building here and goes in the elevator. <laughs> I got stuck in the door. As you just saw, the ball came into an elevator full of businessmen and will come out to another floor as the ball continues its journey. Wow, how about that? Same scenario. Everybody's in on it. Everybody's really good at soccer. And the last five guys are really pro. And so they're doing some stuff that just uh, exhausts me. Get in. I'll tell you something about Dave. Dave loves meeting people and chatting. Dave instantly becomes friends with any wardrobe, wardrobe, makeup, hair, any kind of person like that. All of a sudden, out of the window, the ball comes bouncing out. Some little kid stops it. And he just leaves it. He plays my best friend. Action! So when I get this ball, I look up, there's two construction barrels and a construction worker. And in a moment of miraculous victory, I shoot, I score. You smell that? It smells like a World Cup it's sitting in my living room. And I win the affection of uh, my lady friend, who just happens to be there. Because that's, of course, why would she be? I mean, she knew what was going to happen. All right, cut it. Thanks for hanging out with us. That's it. So, see ya.